Hello and welcome to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. We have got different topics covering radiology in different aspects like some are on physics, some are on the procedures, some are on the CD, some MR. The present series is meant for uh, radiology students who are appearing for examination, so also technology courses and in that we have made a physics bit simplified. We have also got a lecture series which covers it in more details. It is available in same website or in same YouTube channel. Let's get going with the disclosure. Most of the material we are using here is from our own department. However, certain material we have borrowed from the name which is absolutely royalty free and we acknowledge with thanks from whom we have got it. Now let's get going to the basics of physics that is the DR radiography. Earlier the radiography was done with the help of darkroom technology and that also we have covered in some other lectures but as the days are advancing we are going towards CR and DR radiography. There are different lectures for CR and DR. Now the present lecture is on DR radiography, its benefit and how a technology works in a very simplified way. Now let's get going with the physics. Now what are the advantage of uh, or what are the disadvantage we have to consider before thinking whether the technology is going to be long lasting or not. So first is the DR cost is slightly high than that of the CR. CR has got less cost and uh, it has to be a retrofit. Now it is it has got convenience, no dark room is required no chemicals are there extremely flexible so very easy for any technician to operate with it because it's very easy to get adjusted with it as well we will also see CR in comparison with DR CR is low cost you don't need much modifications same machine same uh, uh, radiographic techniques are used for CR it is of low cost then uh, it's slightly cumbersome but as it is compared to the DR but definitely a comfortable as compared to the darkroom technologies it has got a durability long you can use it there is not much maintenance cost and the labor however is intensive you need multiple people to operate these systems versus NDR you do not need much of the people as we go in the details of this we'll know why now let's go to the acquisition of image in DR technology here you are seeing the patient is in front of the uh, DR machine and the radiography operator is operating from another end it's instant soon the radiography is taken soon the exposure is on it is seen on the screen you can print it and give it immediately so very fast very easy to operate now let's see how a DR image is acquired now there are receptors provided for a direct digital output now potentially lower patient dose than CR because it is a computerized it can enhance so the so also high latitude as compared to CR now no processor no reader required images are available in less than 50 seconds so you can have extremely good turnover even in a busy department it can take more workload and comfortable for the patient because there is no repetition then images are available in less than 15 seconds so this is another big advantage and much less work for the technologist here so just position the patient click the button and get the image print it or send it to the tele for the reporting now dr image acquisition how it is done there is an array of light sensitive detectors covered with light emitting x-ray phosphor then light generated by X's converted into a charge then charge is stored in a capacitor then processing with readout of a TFT array is done and there is no intervention required in all these process that is the most important thing so it's very easy to operate and easy for a technician less troublesome for the patient good for the patient's turnover now DR image acquisition how acquisition is done there are flat panel detectors that is called as FPD then charge couple devices are there they are called CCDs and C MOS CCD is charge couple device then uh, there is a slot scanning type of system these are the slot scanning type of systems then we have got photon containing type systems now what are the flat panel detectors flat panel detectors are indirectly digital radiography in this x-ray strikes the scintillator producing light so x-rays are converted into light energy then photodiode array convert light into the electrons this intensifying screen is 
is made up of cesium iodide crystals and of uh, photo detector is made up of amorphous silicon here we are shown in the diagram just pause it and have it in more detail everything is written whatever we have spoken is again here in a diagrammatic way it is written now fpd x-ray converters material on the tft matrix each element has a capacitor and switching transistors read out from each detectors now we'll go to the next detail ccd and cmos x-ray conversion to visible light using scintillators or phosphorus is first done and then it is channelized by a mirror or prisms a slot scanning system like uh, ct scanograms are used then photon counting system like uh, slot scanning but use crystalline uh, selenium as scintillates that is high dqe and uh, and high snr snr are the signal noise ratio that is mainly we are concerned when we are getting a good quality images now what are the advantages and disadvantages of cr and dr let us compare them first is the position in cr you have to position more accurately there are uh, cassettes are different you have to slot it in the machine but versus in dr patient has to stand in just front of the machine and the radiograph is done second is the replacement of fsr in cr we need it more frequently then what is system cost it is high with dr that is only limiting factor is high cost of dr that is as on today but as the days will go the cost will definitely come down then patient throughput is more with dr then the ease of operation is much better with the dr and fax compatibility is in both but slightly better with dr that is you can get it teleradiography you can send it for the reporting or you can store it all are done through that system then what is in nutshell first is cr it is retrofit advantages then cost advantages quality advantages and they are comparable images are comparable you can store them it can be compared with other images it can, two images can be compared with each other the quality of it can be adjusted because they are dicom images now dr superior quality and throughput is better it is good for a higher average number of patients because the time required for each patient is much less in this now there is five year horizon for cr rule at the moment now what is the conclusion let's talk of the advantages of dr because cr is covered somewhere else it has got it is it has got better image quality and faster results than accurate detection of the small lesions because you have got a good resolution you have got a dicom system like to work on it and with that you can also detect a very small lesion then it is economical due to the less film cost and less repetition so less wastage of the film it is more economical because of all these things it provide options for dose reductions because computer can elevate or it can modify the techniques later on then easy and large storage of data is possible you have to just increase the hard disk capacity then possibility of wireless transfer of the data is possible then uh, it has got reduced exposure time it has got quick results and it has got enhanced archiving and retrieval that is the best advantage of all these things now what are the advantage over cr then uh, dr is best on use of a uh, discrete values in comparison to conventional radiology which uses analog values now second exposure necessary to produce good image are directly related to the detective quantum efficiency of the detectors so put a better detector get a better quality images then cr system require about why is the exposure of corresponding 400 speed screen film detected for the comparable image studies so at end end we have got a conventional that was using a cassette and intensifying screen now we have got a cr and then has come the dr so basically they are 400 times more fast so what the advantages are that you can give less exposure to the patient there are less repetitions position is quicker uh, throughput is fast you can immediately transfer image to the radiologist for reporting so lot 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 of advantages except is slightly costly but that cost will come down in subsequent days with that we are coming to end of the lecture i am thank you for giving me your valuable time please our visit please visit our website for comprehensive and detailed lecture over this topic and also on many other thank you goodbye and take care